Hey, what's going on, bards? We are here in everyone's favorite underwater dungeon, the one that causes nightmares and causes huge headaches for, for players, uh, Kedge Keep. Uh, we are here on the P99, P99 Green server. This is during the Valleys expansion. But I was looking for a challenge uh, that goes back to, you know, the server release, right? The classic era of P99 um, to see if we can solo uh, the, the Coraline Kelp Maiden, right? Why do we want to kill her? Well, we're trying to see if it's possible at all to achieve or obtain our Sharkskin Drums. So real quick, let's just check her out. This mob wrecks face. She has wrecked my face many times <laughs> and uh, and her placeholders. So trying some different tactics into how we can possibly do this. Um, she is a level 46 wizard uh, and she can nuke, blast you. Um, it is pretty insane. Uh, but we are after the shark skin drums. So this is a 22 percussion modifier, right? This is going to enhance our songs that much more. Uh, it make makes us run faster because we want to be more like the flash uh, with our cellos on. Um, and this is just before, uh, this is the second best drum during this time, you know, underneath the cellos drums of the March, which is a, is a, from raid targets and would cost you over 60 K at the time to even try to buy them. But shark skin drums are more practical. You know, you can say up front already that, hey, if you could farm plat, um, you're probably better off just buying these things. <laughs> or if you can get a group together, then way easier than what we are about to do. Um, this video turned into a, uh, I was trying to make a, a barred guide on how to, how to do it. Uh, now it's just more of a, hey, is it even feasible? And is it practical? Um, can we, in fact, solo and kill her? Uh, the answer to that is yes, we can solo and kill her. Is it practical? No. And I'm going to get into why in a bit. Um, but first, what I would like to do is, beyond that, um, I said kind of the classic era. So Mr. McTwist here, he is level 50. Um, and I had to go through um, a little change in gear. Right, still trying to keep tr or keeping it classic as much as I can remember um, for what we're given. So originally, I just went for you know the old hit point route uh, where I was using you know mithril breastplate, skull shape arbute, um, crested spalders, diamond e earring, cool. But that is not what I had to use. I had to switch this up big time because it is no joke. There is a reason why you don't see bards in here just nonchalantly trying to kill this guy um, even at level 50 so cool I actually attempted this when I was 50 on on Lethen when this came out I think I died once and I never went back again <laughs> so now that I have more resources again is it practical for that time no because the amount of deaths and time I've already spent it is not reasonable I would have lost this level you know long ago if there was no clerics around but anyways so first and foremost, uh, the biggest items you're going to want is underwater breathing because you don't want to have to worry or think about that. Um, that is not in the wheelhouse and not really practical to use your song or, you know, we don't want to do this solo. We don't want anyone casting on us. So we're going to have no buffs or anything from anyone else um, or any help at all for that matter. Anyways, so the rebreather was my initial um, under enduring breath item. Uh, this was this is player made, and I think then I bought it for like a thousand or so plat, something like that, one point five or something. So it was something you know pretty expensive. Uh, but um, as the situation here unfolded, I uh, realized I need something different because I need to replace that slot with something else. And in this case, I use the crown of the froglock kings. So this or the skull shaped barbu is perfectly fine. Why this one? Uh, 20 fire, 20 cold. Why might this have been impractical? Well, you're definitely, you're, you know, you, you can solo the froglock king. It's going to take some time at level 50. Um, or even with a group, it's a pretty hard camp to get people down to and get in and get in. And then, you know, winning the roll to get it or whatever, um, can be harder for, for the normal classic player, you know, not, not the raid people, not the guys who have been doing it for a while and know, the mobs but for the normal uh, newer guy anyways uh so i had elected to use a fishbone earring now for my enduring breath cool um back then this also was a pretty penny if you're gonna buy it. the camp was you know f i think five hours or six hours um in the kinos hills killing the killing the dude there um 
I, I never did it. This is the first time I've ever had the fishbone earring. I've never found another use for it. Only for this uh, specific moment um, when killing this mob. So that is it. It's the only reason why I have it. And that opened up the slot for the headpiece. Okay, moving to the mask. We have the Mask of Deception. Or you had the guys of the Deceiver at first. Whatever, same stats. You're looking for the Magic Resist. That's all that's for. Charisma, not a big deal. Charisma, in this case, we actually want less of. Because we're looking to get a lull... Uh, a, a, a critical lull in order to pull um, the mermaid uh, from her spawn point to where we are. And I will show that a little bit later. Earring. Uh, uh, for this, I could have got a resist earring, but that takes some time as well. Uh, again, not really practical. And even getting the black si sapphire electrum earring just for the hit points only. I just filled the slot with that. Um, I had that during that era as well. Um, the chest piece, so this is a little unique, the Gnomish environmental suit. I want that fire resist. Fire, cold, you know, cool. I'm not using a Dwarven Ringmail tunic, which would be an option for Wood Elves, um, because a Half-Elf or a human cannot wear um, Dwarven Ringmail tunic. That would have been the go-to, but in this case I don't have it, and this requires a group. Captain Bip Nibble, Nubble, whatever his name is, in Salyusek A drops this. Um, I think I, it took me over like 10 kills uh, to get one. That was with Lethin, so he could do it solo. Otherwise, that camp is full of mobs, and that dude hurts as well. He was he was knocking me down pretty good. Um, so to buy it, I'm not exactly sure the prices back then, but uh, that was it. Okay, uh, Mithril arms and legs. These come from Warlord Scar Scarlon in Nagafin's Lair. So definitely a raid kill mob at the, at the time. Um, why for magic the, the magic resist? We definitely had these um, as we got into raiding. So to buy these was also a pretty penny. 6k plus I, I believe. Something crazy like that. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe less. I, I can't remember. But um, yeah, that's why this might not be 100% practical. Uh, Swirl Spine Belt I, I, I used for haste. Actually, I had a purity belt before that, right? Um, the belt is a kind of a weird spot to fill. You could do like the Troll Hide Belt or whatever. Um, ultimately, I did not need haste, so I don't even need this item. I did have it. Um, or you could get a Flowing Black Silk Sash, which is also another pretty penny, but um, I don't even have one of those, so it doesn't matter. And we ended up not even needing this, and I wish I could have replaced it with something more viable, like Fire Resist or something. Uh, okay, uh, wrist, wolf eye, wolf's eye, golden bracelet for that magic. Uh, I should have had at least two of these. My other one is just a granite bracer. It has some extra hit points, but that should have been either fire or magic resist. Uh, gloves, there's not there's not much in terms of or options for gloves. So elf eye gloves from the warden and guck, an upper guck. Do do what you will there. It's not going to matter. Um, rings, this was a unique one, so Platinum Diamond Wedding Ring, uh, 7 across the board, this was really good then, or you can get your Jacinth uh, Wedding Ring, I was kind of, you know, on the fence about which one to really use, but ultimately I, I did use the, the Wedding Rings, um, again, these, you know, cost quite a bit to get back then, so, cool, I mean, you know, take that as you will, um, Charred Boots, I uh, used this, I had Dwarven Boots before, Cool fire resist. This comes from the Inferno Captain uh, Goblin in uh, in Sai Six Eye. Bloodstained mantle, of course, always a go-to there. Ten magic resist from unrest. Hood of black cloak, just for the hit points. Um, you know, you can get you can get, you know you can get a raid raid cloak at the time for, with some fire resist, but that's very impractical. So hood of black cloak was the option from the Dehampire and Mistmore. Um, White gold necklace. This is from Lower Guck as well. This is really nice. Seven across the board on the neck. Five charisma. For gen you know, in general play, I would definitely have this. But yeah, those resists are where it's at. That's pretty much it. Uh, Rune Bone Fork, of course. Get that. Upper Guck. Um, definitely want that. Still use it to this day. Level 60. Cool. So yeah, other gear I had. I had Mithril Breastplate. I had um, Crested Spall. There was a lot of more hit point gear as I normally would do, hero bracers, you know, whatever. Um, not, not, it just didn't cut it for what I had. Yes, I have lower hit points now. I have, you know, 1,291, um, 1,291. Uh, 
So, I mean, there's going to be a lot of, there is going to be healing. You are going to get hit and all this kind of stuff. So that's all expected. Um, so that is the gear. So real quick, uh, let's go through a quick song lineup. Um, Hymn, of, Hymn of Restoration, Nivs, Melody of Preservation. This gives you the ultimate healing when you use a stringed instrument. So in my downtime, I'm twisting that with, as you'll see with uh, Mez, get the most healing. Uh, Elemental Rhymes, increase your resist even more. Um, snare, your, your low snare song. Uh, your your fire chant and your magic foofles uh, curtailing chant. This is also your magic the buffer. So hopefully, if you hit this one, fire will land more often. Cold is is highly resistant here, so cold dot is out is out the window. You're not going to be able to land it. Uh, of course, I have Invis on right now. I will switch this out for our lull song as we get to the room, and then of course our mez of Kristen's pixie strikes that's the basic lineup that i had of course do modify that as you will for your attempts and uh that will be it i think that's it in terms of gear other than that uh basic drum i'm still using a hand drum uh basic whistle here wooden flute and loot of the gypsy princess i should have missed more drums by now but <clears throat> and actually that would have helped even more because of that modifier right 18 to, to, to 20 is a huge jump and that increases your elemental rhymes that would increase my dots but you know i kept it because of the uh because of the crazy gear i just kept it low just to see what we can really get so cool let's get into how to get down to this room okay real quick real quick before the map i did not cover weapons so um ultimately we're not even going to use weapons so don't even worry about it but what I had initially was my Election Blade of Wakazachi. I had two of these as I was leveling up. Get these from Mistmore. Uh, once I learned how to kill the butler and the maid, solo those guys, you can turn, turn those their fangs into the Avenging Caitliff, and you get this weapon. Um, that was a little bit more practical for me to get early on. Um, what is a little bit non-practical is to get the short sword of the Yakisha. Um, I had, um, I've never had one of these before. Uh, it was actually the first time I ever had one. And not only that, I got... Two short swords of the Akisha. Double yaks, baby. But why why you would want that? The uh the proc is a seventy-five direct damage, uh, which greatly helps with our DPS or lack thereof a DPS. Um and all that. Ultimately I I just farm these and then not not even using them. It doesn't even matter. Orbit to Shane, I didn't I did get that from a raid. Uh don't even need it. If you're gonna try the the uh the uh, spanking tank Tank and spank, whatever you want to say. Um, it didn't matter, you know. Uh, also, um, why we have why I'm switching to the solo method is because uh, the time it took for me to even try to get this mob down to seventy percent, I, I died at least ten times, at least. Um, I'm not, I'm not even kidding or exaggerating that. So um, it would take me over forty minutes to try to get the mob even down. Uh, below 70 i've never once got a mob below 60 percent not once doing the mezzan heal tactic with my normal gear not even with these akishas um and that is just too long you're just not doing it not practical unless you really have all day and you're gonna hawk because the time it takes you to heal up plus their small regeneration rate every percentage is huge uh, as it turned out uh, to try to get them down, especially if you don't have your skills up, if you don't have like your melee skills, offensive, defensive, those things do matter at this stage. And um, even though mine were at their max pretty much, um, it just wasn't happening. <laughs> so I had to improvise and and, find, and and kind of figure this out. So, anyways, okay, uh, let's. Um, also, I just wanted to show uh, basic instruments. Sorry, hand drum, uh, wooden flute, and Loot of the Gypsy Princess. I should have missed more battle jumps, as I said before, but not a big deal. Um, what I should have had, I should have had them for this because your elemental rhymes. Right now, I'm sitting at 90-90. The biggest resist, magic and fire, um, with the drum is now 140. You know, for both 144 or whatever. Um, so you want it, you want those to be as max as possible. Having a missed more battle jump before all this definitely would have uh, helped quite a bit because I would have doubled my uh my, my my modifier that the miss more drum is what 20 um so huge huge chunk there but uh 
yep, that is it. And that is why we're doing elemental rhymes and why we'll get that twist in um, as we get into actually killing her. So, okay. How do we get there? How do we get to the uh, kelp maiden? So, of course, we got to do a map. So, right here, we're at the entrance. Uh, the goal is to get over here. If This is, this is from the wiki. The wiki page and we're gonna get right here at number 10 how do we get there uh, well first we're gonna swim out um, you're gonna note the pillar in front of us that's kind of like the the uh, the, the uh, landmark to show where the entrance is especially when you come back come back up so um, you'll do that we'll swim right out and we're gonna go right down the hatch here and we're gonna swim down we're gonna pop out down here um, if you if you just swim straight down which I'm going to show you you'll actually be facing this way and there are two lighted rooms. The other two are dark. This is just a dead end here. But we're going to go over here to the east. To this one. To where D is. Um, D will come back over. will pop out here. Uh, you'll have some rooms. Uh, two rooms over here. And then we're going to simply go to the right. We're going to go up. Instead of down. We're going to go up. And then we're going to go through some more of these tunnels here. We're going to come on to another room. And there, and here we're going to turn right. There's going to be a, a gate that's fallen off the hinges. That's our checkpoint. We'll go in. We'll swim down and get into this room here. And then depending on whether there is a named in here, um, Estrella, uh, she is bad. And she's the only one that sees Invis along this route. She will see you if you cross into her lair at all. Um, but anyways, so we're going to come in here. We're going to swim up and over like the little entry way down into this room this is the what I consider to be the safe room and safe little hallway right here um, but we'll swim up uh, through this gate and into the room where um, where, where uh, Coraline is so that is kind of the quick route so let's do this in practicality let's swim so um, make sure Invis is on everything is usually is KOS from the entrance we can note the fallen on pillar that's just a checkpoint. We're going to go straight down. In this case, I'm just going to go straight down like this and just my head against the wall here. And it's going to pop out here. Um, this room is not the room. We're going to go to the left. But uh, you'll note that the uh, that the shell here is laying down and it's fallen off the wall. Um, that is a different route. We don't want that. We want to go to the left over here to where the shell is on the wall. So that's a good little checkpoint. The other rooms are dark. There's nothing... Uh, of concern in there or anything that, anything anything that we need so we'll go through the gate and we will go down the hatch again um, and we're not going to go all the way we're going to go right here to the side like the midway and into this room and we'll look over here we got mermaids over here uh, another way to go down and, and, and through but we're going to turn right and don't get caught by going down which you can do uh, kind of leads to the same place, but if the name is up, we want to go up, up into here, into this room. Simple as that. We'll look to the right. We'll see the fallen down gate, and that gate leads the way. So we'll turn right, come down here, and just go right down these chutes here, these tunnels, and we're gonna pop out right here with all with these mermaids. Cool, easy day. Uh, we would always check track to make sure that the named isn't up right now. Uh, if she was, she would be right in here and she's a yellow con at level 50 and season viz. So lulling her at level 50 is very, very risky. Not worth it. There is another named right here, but she is not the one of concern and she doesn't see a viz either. So if she was up, if uh, Eva was up, then we would just simply, or Estrella, whatever her name is, um, just up and over into this room. So we just swam straight across. This is a nice room. You can sit here and uh, chillax if you needed to. You can even pull her down here if you wanted to try some face tanking um, and get your butt smacked. But uh, <laughs> then we would go up here, right here to the gate, and we enter the main room. This is it. This is where we are going to take care of business, as it were. Um, and this is the placeholder right now, the Gloomstalker Mermaid. And who would be who we need to kill? She's the only mermaid in this room. Um, so this room is also unique over here on the side of the cave to the seahorses. We need to be very careful we don't aggro these guys. And if you turn around into the main area here, uh, there are seahorses 
Uh, there are two in, in particular. There is actually three. One way up top who is uh, the placeholder for Undertow. But there are two seahorses, and these guys have a pretty good aggro range. If you are out by these pillars, you're going to get aggroed, and they are going to beat you down. Uh, you're not going to be able to outrun these guys. Uh, maybe you can mez, but the resistances are high. So be very, very careful. Also note that this room has these little fish. These little fish everywhere. Oh, where are the other ones at? Some, some of these guys. If you are in this room, do not sit down. Um, that goes for anyone. Uh, if you sit down, they're going to aggro. And not only will these guys aggro, which they don't have any real hit points either. But if you come into this middle here and you look up, you're going to see some piranha. So there's cutouts up top here. Um, and these guys will also aggro. These are a high green con, so they will social. Um, but oddly enough, through trial and error, and as you will see, I will kite. We do not need to clear these guys, and they will not aggro as we kite uh, the mermaid in here. So we're going to kite along in here a second. I'm going to show a more detailed map of what this looks like you know, from the top looking down. So you get a better visual reference. And uh, that is it. So if you want to sit and replace your songs, simply come back in here into the tube. Just sit and you can you know, switch out your songs or whatever you got to do uh, to get ready. And we'll get into the pull and I will just show you what I'm doing uh, as we do it. As I said, we're going to pull uh, by trying most of the time of trying to get a critical lull resist. So we're going to keep casting lull until she resists enough. Uh, to where she will actually just attack you. So I'll usually just have her targeted and I'll swim over to the other corner over here and you'll see that it'll work sometimes. Or if I need to, I can uh, lull her first, switch out, um, you know, get, yeah, lull her first. If she's not resisting, I can simply come in here and hide in the corner out of the line of sight of these seahorses, hit her with a mez, and kind of I'll, well, I should be facing the, facing the wall so that she is pulled inward and I will swim back over whoop, to the side over here and wait for that to break and then I will engage with snare uh, snare is going to be uh, your, your your biggest song in this case keep her snared and then I keep uh, resistances up and then I will slowly apply the dots when I can um, I kept doing fire first which is an odd thing for me to do, and I know that I should be using magic first. This is, is what I should should. This is the way I, that I should be doing it. But <clears throat> I had fire up first, anyways, um, and that is really it. And okay, so to keep her in the area, uh, we'll get into that part next. All right, so we're gonna kite in here. So I took a. I just kind of redid the image from the wiki page again. This is the room uh, from the top looking down. Right, these are the pillars. This is the main area. She is right over here. Um, and then the seahorses are in here just kind of floating around. We are staying out of here. And in fact, uh, we are staying out of this entire zone right here. This is the no-no zone. We don't want to do that. Solid color that thing. Whatever. Stay out of this area when you are kiting. Um, that's bad. So what we're going to do is, uh, of course, she is right here. Uh, eventually, we'll be over here. And uh, get that crit lull. She'll come out and start coming down. We want to get the snare on and start kiting. So out of the line of, out of, the line of sight, we can kind of use the uh, the checkered board here on the, on, on the floor as a reference. So I'm up to the maximum area that we want to kite up to is just past this line. So we got one two, three rows, right? Think of these as just checkered rows. Um, if you have her engaged, do not come out into this area past this line. I kind of kept it right in here for the most part. And as you'll see, I kind of, I, eventually I started doing like a figure eight type pattern um, where I would come over here, the mob would come down and she will start casting and whatnot. So if she does that, you need to stop. Don't start trucking around because then now uh, you're changing your angles and she'll float across and, and hit you. So you want to pull her as close as you can for as long as as long as you can hold out to get her as close to over here before you start coming over and kind of swinging around uh, to get around her without getting hit. And uh, same with both sides. So I can actually come out here and still kite around these these two pillars 
and do the same exact thing. And I'm kind of doing like a weird figure eight and uh, to keep her along the wall. The wall is important uh, just to, you know, if she's swimming towards you, I kind of stop here in the middle. I let her just truck through. The pillars do not cause a line of sight issues. You can cast through them. So that's another cool thing about uh, the pillars. It's just a visual reference that, that you just lose her visually if she's behind it. But she will come through, and even if she's popped through, that's still enough distance for you just to turn and then swim away. But you want to just get her nice and close along the wall so that you're not out here at all. Um, these little spine reef seahorses, they, they're going to crush you. So same thing coming over here. Um, I just always kind of cut over. I wait. I wait for her to come over and whatnot. And then uh, right back around, just keeping you know that, that time that I'm out because I'm not paying attention really to the seahorses or where they are. I just know that I need to get, stay tucked in, back and forth. Okay, so what this looks like, uh, right, if I if I start here, right, I'll come back, kind of come in. I'll wait for her to path, get her nice and close in, and then you're going to come in, or how I ended up doing this was coming in like this, and then slowly around like a, like a figure eight um, when she ended up, you know, close to the wall or in this area, you will get a few hits, right? The reach is, is high. There is no strafing in here. Um, not that I know of, but you're going to be busy. You're trying to get snare. You're worried about resistances, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and, and more specifically, you're worried about you, res you getting resists, uh, from your snare and whatnot. So, um, placeholders have much lower, uh, resistances it seems a lot less times that they resist like your mez and your snare but the named however different story uh, she resists a lot more and it's got me killed a few times already so that is the basic layout again stay out of this area this is a no-no zone um, if you're going to attempt to do this kite so kind of cool the only time you might lose a line of sight is if you um, if she's over here somewhere right and you and you're swimming and you're down over here by accident and you try to cast you're gonna you have this wall here uh, you're gonna lose that line of sight so just make sure that you know you're just just out just enough and you can get her snared or whatever the case is so that's pretty much it um, <clears throat> other than that that is exactly what we are going to do so uh, coming up we'll kind of put it all together and see what we get Alrighty, so let's try to kill this placeholder. I started the timer and I have Invis on. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually, just so I don't get any extra hits, I'm going to target her. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to lull. And I'm doing this. She's probably not going to resist. I'm going to hit my Invis again. Because right now she's not resisting a whole lot, so it's hard to get that pull. But she's lulled, so now I'm just going to hit her with a, uh, with a Mez. Bam, get her. And then... Oop, now I can stuff on the wall. Come on. Um, switch out to my drum and just kind of wait until she breaks over on this side. So we'll see her fly in a second. Hey, there she is. She's coming. Oh, boy. We all. Elemental rhymes. Uh, since she's on that side, I'm going to go straight across. Again, don't pass those pillars. Uh, bad day. Another thing is uh, if you pull her too close to these walls, you see horses might be able to heal her. Um, I ran into something similar to that earlier as she gets lower. So I think below maybe 50% life they might start doing that. I don't really know. But if she's cast and I'm rooted, I'm going to measure. her. To push her back and to kind of delay her from hitting me because uh, the dots are still on there she's casting so that's good interrupt oh okay we're off I'm already half life actually we'll just take a moment at 90% that's kind of kind of weak sauce but uh I'm just gonna heal up real quick since she's already got me down to 50 and I'll be right back uh, for that um, I'm gonna hit her with a quick mez I still have Invis up, and I want all my songs, so do not sit in here. All these little fish will aggro, aggro you. So just come in here, just come down real quick, add a line of sight, get your uh, whatever song. I mean, you can do this however you want, but uh, I just pop that back on, get back up here, Oop, hit it with a, another mez real quick, and then 
loot, and then I just have my hem of restoration, nivs, and my Christian's pixie strike to keep her mez and get me healed. All right, so we'll come back um, after I'm healed up, so I don't waste too much time. All right, we're healed up. I'm switching back to my drum here. Uh, that mez landed. We're going to get her with the snare, get my elemental rhymes on, and then the dots. I'm kind of prioritizing snare first and then elemental rhymes. I want to keep those up as much as possible to just resist, resist, resist. Um, and then dots will come after. Uh, so we want to take our time. So, okay, she's coming. It's kind of just skirting out here a little bit. She's casting again. Kind of want her to be a little more over. Kind of like on this pathway here so I can get around a little bit more safely. That's all right. I, I expect to get hit. So there we are. So around this wall, if you go just a little bit too far over, you'll be out of line of sight. So that's the only place where you really would just consider looking out for that. Okay, right back through the middle. Kind of just clicking and going slow a little bit. Just to, oh, she's still casting. Okay, root is on. I'm going to oh, it's off. Actually, just. Give her that, give her a second. And of course she got me with my pants down, <laughs> with the mental rhymes down. Those are my pants. Um, through the pillar, so the pillars are, are nice, right? Uh, they don't block the line of sight. Oh, she's casting again, I'm just gonna give it a second. Let her come through there. Okay, casting again. Give it a potato. Oop, okay, it's a hit. It's all right. 18 damage. I'll survive. <laughs> oh, she got a good blast there. 53 damage. Oh, no. She's trying to root. Oh, a snare. Get that snare on. She's casting. It's going to kind of stop in the middle here just to get a good angle towards the wall. We want her to be as close as we can get her. Oh, there she is. That's why I like having elemental rhymes up there just to ensure I have it up. They have infinite mana, she just keeps casting, she doesn't stop. So, okay, we'll swim over, hopefully. Yep, no hits. Still doing good, I'll give it just another, if she, if she roots me, yep, okay. Oh, it's off. I'm just gonna heal up at this point. Uh, just try to keep her Resisted. snare, oh. Snares off. Oh boy. Come here, you. Let's pull her back over here if we can. Those dots are still on, and that's the only fear there. Okay. So cool. She's over there. Um, I would like her to be away from this area a little bit more. I'm just going to. I'll just push her and heal up. She's at 56, so she'll probably heal up another 2 or 3%. But okay, we'll heal up and continue. All right, we are about healed up. I'm switching back to the drum. Let's just get another extra mez on. Snare is on. I'm just gonna pull her right across here and she breaks. Make sure that seahorse right there, man, that's the one. It's my my, the bane <laughs> of doing this in here. Um, all it takes is the right spot and he will aggro all the other ones. Okay, so, oh, okay, grasping roots, cellos, let's get a mez. 
Okay, mess is off. I'm just gonna restart my twist chain here. Let's get around. So cool, 51%. It's already been 11 minutes since I started. So again, is this feasible? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> but is it possible? Yeah, it is. It's possible. All right, doing good, doing good on life and all of that. Oh, she's about to root. Let's see, okay, we're good. Okay, good. Get you just snaring. Snare doesn't really seem to have too much of a impact in here. As long as she's snared, your snare really doesn't matter. I'm just gonna swivel around. I think she's casting. That's good. I'm trying to keep her, as she gets lower, I'm trying to keep her away from the other seahorses in any kind of range at all. I think they might try to heal. They can heal through walls and stuff. I'm going to save their own. Okay, down to 33. We're at 78. That's actually pretty good, I think. Um, I'm just going to swim around. Okay, she's coming there. Casting. That's good. I'm just going to keep the dots on. Uh, doing good on health so far. Even if she starts to heal, I'm just going to keep what I got. I'm just going to keep doing it until she dies because I feel like too much can go wrong otherwise. Even trying to melee, she still hits hard, right? I have very, very squishy. I only have you know, almost 1,300 hit points, 1,291. Doing good, doing good. Skirting the sides there. Oh, she rooted. Okay. Mezzing. Oh, roots off. Actually, we're just going to swim around. Okay, she's mezzed. Snare's on. Elemental. I think she's healing. Oh, maybe not. That is not heal. That is singing swarm. Um, snare might come off here in a second. Oh no! <laughs> come on, baby. She's doing good. Doing good. Oh, rooted. Okay. Just get messes on. It's going to chain mess. She is healing. Want to break that. God, it's so close. It's so tempting just to try to dial her down the rest of the way. But she is going to heal. So I want to make sure that I can just mess her. Just going to heal up again. Don't risk it. <laughs> risk it for the biscuit. Um, and we'll be right back after I do that. So it looks like dots are off. Here we go with healing. All right, so we got full health. Let's get back to it. She's at 11%. She healed up, uh, what, 3% 3, 3 or so. Um, see if she starts healing. We'll just get dots on. And if we need to just chain Mez, that might be what we have to do. She's going to go for the dispel. Oh, can't see her. I think we're getting lucky that she's not healing just yet. I don't really know. Okay, she's casting.
Oh no, don't heal, don't heal. <laughs> oh, it's so close. Come on, <laughs> you goober. Oh, 1%. <laughs> I should have just land dots. You know what? Screw it. We are. Come on. Get her, get her, get her. Oh, no, she's healing up. Ah, oh, shoot. Unreal. Come on, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> oh, come on. That was a big error of landing that dot. I thought I'd get her. And look at that, just like that, at 1%, just... She's still got a heal off, man. Let's just do it. I'm tired of this. Just gotta keep her at bay, keep her at bay, come on. Why don't you root me again? Oh my gosh. 1%. Can we get her? Get her! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> well, there it is, man. <laughs> Nothing there. That's all right. Uh, so that's a placeholder. <laughs> that took 19 minutes, 20 seconds. So from the time we engaged in healing and all that, uh, that is less than half the time, really, than I even try to get her melee style. And I only got her down to like 70% most of the time. It was just ridiculous. So that's this is the much more viable way of killing the placeholder. So, all right, uh, on to hopefully the named. <laughs> is this feasible? No, not at all. This is terrible. <laughs> but this is cool. This is pretty fun. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, see what we can get next. All righty, we got Cora. The Coraline Kelp Maiden is up and she is ready to rock. She's ready to kick my butt. So, uh, right now I'm just getting her targeted. Right now she has nothing in her hands, but that's all right. Sometimes the hammer isn't visible. And I actually found this out later. On, it actually is on the on the wiki page that even says that. So, uh, hopefully she has the drum, but you can't really tell if she does or not. But we will see what we can get. So, right now I just have her targeted. I have Invis on. I'm just switching that out real quick to my lull. Let's load it up. And let's get... To work and seeing if we can't get her she's very resistant much more resistant than the placeholders so um we gotta be on our toes for this so we're going for the lull see if we can get the lull resist there she is coming right for us <laughs> all right we already have elemental rhymes up i'm kind of doing like a figure eight here i've been having some weird issues with these seahorses in here and they were just melting me down so i'm going to kind of do like a a weird figure eight type dance to kind of just keep her along that wall. Whoop. Just resisting some of the chants, that's okay, you know what? Oh, she rooted me. And I got a chant on, which isn't good. Okay, it's off. Let's get right over here, get snare back on. Get to my resist. Just in case here, kind of shimmy her over to the side. Hope she's casting. And that's okay. Let's hope that we get a snare. Here we go. Oop, could probably get a hit there. Okay, that's alright. Nothing. Got lucky with a few missed hits, it looks like. Okay, she's got a dispel coming. Resisted. Resisted snare. Okay, snare is on. Ooh, she's behind the pillar. That's all right. So we got her coming. Hopefully we can get her to at least 70 before we need to heal or something like that. Actually, she's right over there. I'm just going to swing around and keep her along this wall here. Ooh, a little close. That's all right. Snare is good. She's still coming. Uh, 
Looks like I missed the other champ. That's all right. Snares on. She's cast him. It's going to hang out right here for a moment. Just to get her through the pillars. There we go. Oop. All right. She's got hits. Um, okay. We got a mez, but uh, actually we're kind of good. Uh, what I'm going to do is here. Let's see if I can get another mez. I'm just going to heal up because I don't want to risk too much. Uh, she's kind of out of the line of sight of the seahorses, which is still good. And uh, I'm just going to heal up the full just to keep it rolling. Okay, Mez lands. Uh, sometimes you get like a ton of, of uh, resist, so we definitely don't want that. I'm going to angle this way. Because wherever you angle is kind of where you push her to. It's kind of a, a weird mechanic with how our barred Mezes work. Um, the only uh, risk of having her on this side is that they can be healed and they can be complete healed by this by the sooth brine um, seahorses sooth brine seahorses so okay she's resisting she's gonna kind of get over here oh, okay we got her <laughs> caught her caught her mid swim all right so 80 ish 79 percent okay that's not too bad for what we're doing. I'll give it one more round here and then I think we should be good to go. Yep, all right. Let's get snare on. That's a good snare. Uh, we'll get chant on and dot is on. Both dots are on. She's casting. Resisted. Ooh, resist snare. Go back to that immediately. Resisted. Resist it again. She's about to clobber us. Man, it just didn't... Uh, having some kind of weird lag thing happening. Okay, that's good. Elemental rhyme back on. Ooh, not get stuck. She's casting. I'm going to take that and just skirt by her <laughs> and pull her over. I'd rather be on this side um, than the other side, really. Resisted. Okay, one dot is on. I'm staying kind of, I'm kind of pausing in the middle just to get her to that side because we want to be able to, to just kind of skirt around as much as we can. And yeah, the 94 hits aren't kind. Resisted. It's not nice, Coraline. Resisted. Okay, resisting the dots. Good on the snare. She hasn't really blasted much more, or or we just resisted it. Resisted. But uh. Okay, one dot's on. That means twelve seconds. Every time we dot, I'm always counting. Kind of. Oops, that was kind of a scooch one. Oh no. Don't want to get caught in the middle here. Going to go right for another snare, oh. which is on. I think if I get hit one more time, I'm just going to go right for the uh, for a mez and just heal back up. Uh, both resist, so Resisted. I'm going to go for a mez. Oh, there we go. Um, let's just heal up. I'll just push her to the middle over there, but uh, so I'll heal. I'll I'll just pause it so that we're not wasting too much time and uh, come back when I am full health. Okay, I'm back to full. I just went by her here. Got a good snare just now, and we'll keep going. She's at seventy percent, so we got a little ways to go. All right, dot is on. Let's get the next one. I can't. She's right behind the pillar. She's coming. Resisted. She's casting, and of course, Elemental is down. Oh, it's up. <laughs> and a good resist on the conflagration. Oh, she's whacking me. 
Okay, snare's back on. I, I can't tell if that broke or not in the moment, but... Okay, she got to mobilize. Just going to try to just measure and push her back. Even though she's now, now she's dotted, but... Don't want that root. I need that root to break. Resisted. Resisted. Oh, there we go. Resisted. Oh, she's just going to chase me. Okay, glazed over. I'm going to heal up. It's kind of a priority here. We just don't want to get below that half because she can really turn the tides very quickly with those 90s. She will hit in the hundreds and all that. So again, yeah, this is slow <laughs> and tedious, but uh, hopefully we can make this work. Actually, I'm going to, okay, good mez. All right, I'll pause again and heal up and uh, we'll be back. All right, we're back at, oh, just hit 99. There we go. Uh, let me hit her with another mez. Good mez, and we'll get the snare. Good snare. <laughs> Elemental's back on. Let's try to land some dots. Okay, one dot is on. Both dots are on. All right, not, not bad. Oh, another root. Oh, root's off. Okay, good, good, good. Both dots looking nice. A little skirty there. I don't like going out that far Resisted. to the pillars, but. Resisted. Oops, snare. Okay, snare is good. We're good on health. <laughs> Gotta check and triple check and talk to yourself, I guess. Kind of what I'm doing. Uh, to make sure I do this because it is a lot of some more concentration with you know all the mobs in here. Okay, 34 hit, not bad. It's just not normal. Okay, root is on. Okay, root's off. That's all right. Cool, good snare. We're getting her down almost halfway here. Okay, another good snare. Resisted. Okay, she's casting, so just pausing here a moment. Okay, both dots are on. Okay, she's casting again, so I'll just kind of wiggle her over. Resisted. Okay, resist snare. Resisted. Oh, I think snare is off of her. Okay, there we go. We're good. Back in the clear here. Oh, no, I don't get it. Let's come right back for another snare. Just don't want her. Resisted. Just don't want to miss that beat. Um, oh, there we go. Resisted. Come on, snare. No, 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 no. Go right for the Mez. Come on. Oh, there we go. All right, right for the heal. <laughs> I'm turning my back to her, and I'm going to measure that way so that it pulls her towards me. All right, that's good. That is what we want. <laughs> <laughs> get those heels at 40 percent we're getting there we're close taking some time here good mezzes man that's kind of saving my bacon right now because man too many resists and you're pretty much toast but uh, i'm glad i switched to that mez oop let's resist there okay well i will uh pause again and get that flipper out of your face <laughs> 
and we'll be back when I'm hopefully full. All right, uh, just about full here. I'm gonna hit her with one more mez. Yep, we're at full now. Hopefully we get a good mez and good. Get a good snare. She's right back where she was. Snare is on. Let's get elemental on and continue down. She healed up uh, one percent, which is Resisted. fine on my book. Resisted. Okay, we'll just hit her with. The, just keep the chain. Keep your. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay, snare is good. She can dispel all she wants all day long. We don't have. Resisted. Oh. Resisted. I kind of backtracked there to. Oh, okay. Snare is coming in the issue now. All right. I messed her so I can get by. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Just to see. I was ready to take some hits, but that's all right. Okay. Elemental. It could be a heal for at this point. I don't know. Okay, dot is good. We want the dot on. Let's get her down. Both dots are on. Up, oh, we got a root coming. Okay, we're good. Resisted. 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 Oh boy, come on. Resisted. Resisted. Oh, all right. Let's get a. Resisted. Trying to get a mez. This is not good. Our eyes glaze over. All right, I'm gonna take again at the time to heal that back up. I just we're getting too close now. I think <laughs> I'm being overly conservative. So, all right, we'll pause it again. Thirty-seven percent. We'll come back. All right, at 90% here, we'll it'll hit it full here in a second. Uh, four resists in a row, so she then started casting, so that kind of saved me, gave me a little extra time to get those to get that mez back on. But uh, all right, we'll hit one more mez. Let's get a good snare after that. So this, is this weird delay sometimes that it's happening, but okay, snares on. Let's get her against the wall. Dot is on. Both dots are on. That's good. She's casting. That's about a 600-ish or 700 direct damage that we just resisted in the force of Al Kabar. So that's nice. That is what we want. We'll swim in here. Swim, swim, swim. Ooh, snare, come on there. Good snare. Resisted. Oops, so those there. All right, snare is good. Both dots still on, 85% on the health. Whoop, there we go, we want that snare. Snare is good, she is casting. Resisted. Oop, here Resisted. comes, all right, let's gotta get a mez on. Resisted. Oh, okay. Uh, so the dots are still on, is why. Should be off here in a second. You know what? Just heal it up. <laughs> this is just not worth it at this point to mess up. I got 20%. This is pretty good. Um, I'm kind of tempted just to keep her over here on this side. Um, and I might just, in fact, do that. 
Um, I'll heal up here in just a quick second. But, uh, man, a lot of resists. A lot of resists. Here we go. Nothing like the placeholder. The placeholder is just nonstop casting. She's kind of doing both. She has a wizard based class, so they're always the hardest. Um, and any of the NPCs and whatnot. Um, so, okay, we are just about there. Let's just get this last round and get back to it, see if we can get her down. Oh, there we go. Come on, get a good snare. There it is. I don't know if she's going to try to heal, and that will be a problem. That will be an issue that we'll deal with next. Uh, okay, no. Okay, chant is on. The good thing about Foofles is that that is your magic resist debuffer as well. So very good to have that one at least land kind of first. And you know what? Oh, I'm just going to go right around here. Oh, I think. Oh, no, she's not healing. Okay. Someone's healing. <laughs> Unless it was a dispel. Resisted. Fifteen percent. Keep it going. We're at ninety-eight. Okay, she's casting. I'm just gonna let her let her take me. <laughs> oh, maybe not that close. Snare, get snare on. Resisted. It's the most important right now. Resisted. Resisted. Alright, down to 10%. Good snare. We're doing it. <laughs> oh, she's going to root. Okay, she root is on. Let's get the mez in. Oops, come on there. Missing notes. Not a very good bard missing notes. Oh, come on. Resisted. Can't move. Don't get me down now. Oh, man. Down to 3% too. <laughs> okay, I think dots are off. Resisted. Let's get another good mez here. Roots off. Man, 3%. <laughs> I'm healing up, baby. You bet. I am healing up. Um, no chances. Here we go. Good Miz. Man, this is, uh, this is intense. <laughs> if, you, if you can't tell, I've never talked out loud with every single song I'm doing. But, I mean, when you're doing this, this way, I mean, you kind of have to. This is very, this is much more uh, specific. And actually, you know, if I wasn't talking, I would be way more focused. <laughs> but to do it and talk and all this twisting. This is kind of, th this is really fun. Um. So this will be the first time that I've ever killed her with this guy. So um, don't get me wrong. I have died uh, a few times now. Uh, maybe uh, three or four times now where uh, I've died to her. Um, but the, yeah, the placeholder, I died a, a ton of times trying to figure out how until I eventually figured all this out, uh, even as far as killing the, you know, the placeholders. Or not a placeholder, but the, some of the fish up here, because I thought maybe they would be um, aggroing on, but but they're not. So that is actually really cool. Okay, I'm gonna pull her back this way. I'm angling down this way to uh, oh, to show her my back in case she wants to beat my face in. Okay, and she actually broke, but I got it on her. Let's just get a little more healing here. I'm just gonna show the whole thing now. Resisted. This is too. <laughs> this is intense. Let 
but it is it is going to show that it is possible with this gear is it feasible to get this far that many placeholders taking all this time no i i wouldn't do it <laughs> normally i would not do it i'm doing it on this guy oh here we go come on all right a lot of resist there i know we're close but this is just a little bit more i want to have it i want to have it in the bag I really hope she has that drum. It'll be so awesome. But again, if not, I mean, you just gotta keep going. <laughs> Wait, this would be this would be so easy. Even even just a duo, of this even how 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 I'm doing this would be very easily done with like a druid right to heal you can snare her you won't have to twist that song um pretty much guarantee that it's on and stuff like that but uh all right so let's get oh the last one more good mez Resisted. all right that's not it all right let's get snare on Resisted. Resisted. Of course, you're just going to resist all day now, right at the last Resisted. possible time. She's up to 5%. There we go. Let's get it. She's going to break any second. There we go. Dots are on. Casting. That is good. Resisted. Just gonna bring it right over. It's fine to get a few hits here. Ooh, nothing. Okay, it's lucky on that. Oop, just gonna swim right on by her. Why not? One percent. Come on. Zero percent. Done. <laughs> oh man. Well, we did it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, well, let's see. Here we go. Hold your breath. No, I got this stupid hammer. Dang it. <laughs> oh, what a tease. And a nice shell. Thanks for the shell, I guess. But, uh, hammer, shark bone, war hammer. Man, what a bummer. I and I did not record it, so I mean, add in about maybe two to three minutes per every time I stop it or so. Um, I'll have to look at that again. But uh, that is it. That was the uh, the solo kill, <laughs> and like once again, no loot that I wanted. But uh, that's how we can get the shark skin jump if you are that determined and and you and you can get these items again. Uh, I don't think it's really feasible at all. It's just this is something fun. Um, if you are able to get this kind of stuff and you can, uh, by all means have at it, but this is pretty cool, um, way to go about it. So I guess until next time, we'll see you guys later.